Hello everybody, today we are going to show you how you can use your beautiful controller as a mouse. So I have run through a lot of programs and I happen to know that Xpatter right here is actually a really really wonderful program but it doesn't run properly on Windows 8 and 10. So whenever I try to minimize it it will not work. Another program that I recently got is Keysticks. Okay, s holy shit! That's a lot of. Keysticks is wonderful, but I had to remove it because this program is a 30 day trial. I mean, look at that whole website. It has nothing to do. Even look at this. Keysticks. Look at that. You don't say it's a 30 day trial until you get it, until it, and then you go to buy. To enjoy unlimited use of key sticks. I mean, there's nowhere it tells you that um, the program is 30 day trial. So let's search for 30. 30, as you can see, it's right here, 30 April, and even if you search. You only know that this is a 30 day trial program until you get the program itself. Keystix is wonderful. It's very, very easy to use. I really love it, but I want to use it forever. Xpatter will be really useful when, um, when you have Windows 7, but right now I'm using Windows 10. So, I left with the only option is joint to key. The only reason I didn't get it at the first time because um, at how it designed. Um, it's really hard for people that first time using it, but I managed to figure it everything out. So if you're using a traditional Xbox 360 controller, you go to control panel. That's the first thing you need to do. Um, hardware and sound, devices and printers. Okay, it should take a while. Just be patient. So, okay, I don't know why this takes, now why this always takes a lot of time. My computer isn't slow. Oh, come on, Intel i3. Uh, 8 gigs of RAM. Okay, so you see your controller. It could be anything. What? Gaming mouse. Yeah, that looks really like a mouse icon right there. Anyway, you go to game controller settings where it pops up where you can see this thing over here. This will be very, very useful for you later on. So now we want our stick one, which is left stick by default, to be controlling the mouse. As you can see, when you're moving around your stick, it will be highlighted for you. So you select stick one, which is the arrow left, which is what you do when the stick one is moving left. And as you can see, this is cursor movement. You can set the speed at how fast the cursor will be moved. So 100 is max, so it will go, cursor will go left by 100 speed. You can test out how fast it is. So I'll just put 40. That's how you set mouse and you hit OK and you test it out. The only problem with this program is that um, it detects slightest every single movement of your stick. So if you just move the stick a little bit, it will still count as a movement. So yeah, unless it stayed in a perfect position, then it will not move. Just to mind you that. Stick two is your right stick. POV, I think, I don't know what POV is, point of view, but I think that some sort of controller has some sort of gyroscope maybe. And then button one. You don't know what button one is, so that's why I, this thingy will be really helpful. So um, the first thing you just keep mashing out all the buttons you have and to see, so I'm pressing A right now. 
A is by default the button 1 so here we have button 1 is disabled now we want A because it's fr so frequently used as our mouse button so it will be a left click and now I think B will be our uh, right click I don't know about X and Y um, okay disable keyboard one so you can set it to keyboard so you can also use the buttons to adjust mouse cursor speed for example if you hold this specific button and then to increase the speed of your mouse which is pretty cool actually now okay shit um so oh wait pov is actually our d-pad isn't it wait wait what yes point of view hat yeah pov is our d-pad sorry about i didn't know about that okay so yeah so and i think i'm going to use this stick to to browse the web so as you can see i set it to wheel buttons so when i open a web page i can actually control it but the only thing that you need to know that um this is really really important that what i'm doing right now is actually um, setting the wheel up which actually you have to revert it remember that you'll get it sooner you have to revert so when yeah so that would make much more sense I'm sure you'll get used to it um, the only thing that I, I can get it to work is that um, to make it slower so it will be at a constant speed it will not the speed will not change so yeah you cannot make it a little bit slower so that's why the program gives you the adjust mouse cursor speed while the button is pressed so you can yeah i don't know if okay and if you want to change it when the stick is actually pressed you need to press the stick and see so the left stick is 9 and the right stick is 10 so yeah button 11 12 13 or 14 and 15 are unused but in some sort of controller they have more buttons so okay you can actually press it to know which button is what it's actually even highlighted for you to know so the only the only thing that um the only thing that doesn't work here is your Xbox main button. I don't know what it's called. I don't own an Xbox, I own a PlayStation. I just got a controller to play it. So yeah. So that's basically it. So if you want to adjust other buttons like triggers wait. What are tr so you can so you can see triggers are button 11 and 12 and you can see go here right button and left button are 5 and 6 a is a x y b is 1 2 3 4 select and start 7 8 so that's it thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy it Damn it.